Are you stuck on the Android boot screen every time you try to use your mobile device? In this video, we'll show you the solutions for this issue. Remember that there is no single way to solve this kind of problem. If your Android is stuck on the boot screen, you'll have to try each of the solutions in this guide to find out which one works. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, refresh your Android device. You should start troubleshooting by restarting, which is also called a soft reset. You need to press and hold the power button for a few seconds to bring up the power menu and do this. Once the power menu comes up, all you have to do is choose restart and see if that fixes the problem. If nothing happens when you press and hold the power button, you can try a forced reboot by pressing and holding the power button for a longer period of time. Most Android phones require you to press and hold for about 30 seconds or until the device restarts or turns itself off. Next, connect your Samsung to a charger. Some devices may have the Android stuck on the boot screen problem when their batteries are low. To see if that's the case, connect your Android phone to your charger and let it charge for up to 30 minutes. This should be plenty of time to charge the battery and hopefully bring the system back to life. Next, run the device on safe mode. Some bad apps can cause Android to get stuck on the boot screen. You can try to put your Android phone into safe mode to find out. Turn the device off. If that's not possible and your Android phone is unresponsive, continue with the rest of the next steps. You can also try to press and hold the power button for 30 seconds to force it to shut down. Alternatively, if you have an Android phone with a removable battery, simply disconnect the battery and reinsert it. Press and hold the power button past the model name screen. When the device logo appears, release the power button and press the volume down. If you see safe mode in the lower left corner after the device restart, safe mode is on, otherwise you need to repeat the process. If your phone works fine in safe mode, the problem is probably caused by a bad or poorly coded third-party app. Next, perform a factory reset. Some problems with the boot screen can only be fixed by doing something drastic, like a factory reset. Unfortunately, a factory reset will also delete all of the user's data and any apps that weren't on the device when it first came out of the box. This means that you will lose any photos, videos, music, contacts, or other files that you haven't saved. At this point, you can't make a backup of these files, and if you decide to do a factory reset, you won't be able to get them back at all. Here are the steps that you must do. Turn off your Samsung. Connect your Samsung device to a computer using a USB cable. Hold the power key while pressing and holding the volume up key. Release the buttons when the Samsung splash screen appears. Use the volume down button until the wipe data factory reset option is highlighted. Select wipe data factory reset by pressing the power button. Select yes. Allow several seconds for the factory data reset to complete. Lastly, get your phone repaired. If you try the hard reset or factory reset through recovery mode and nothing changed, or if you can't get into recovery mode at all, the problem is probably caused by bad hardware. In this case, the best way to solve the problem is to ask a trained professional for help. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.